On today's video, I'm bringing you guys aboard for a Yacht Rock Odyssey. Hey there kids, it's your good buddy, Captain Uncle Ben. Okay, so here's the deal. Here in Knoxville, Tennessee, a couple of good buddies of mine have a very successful yacht rock tribute band called Smooth Sailor. I've played with these guys on and off for years now as just kind of their fill-in guy for guitar or bass. And it is a really fun and really challenging gig. So I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an inside look at how I get ready for shows like this, how I prepare, what the set list and everything is like, what kind of gear I'm using, the whole nine yards. Or whole nine knots or whatever the nautical term would be. As always, this video is brought to you guys by everybody who supports my channel over on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash benellerguitars. Sign up today, even for just a buck a month, you're gonna get access to a ton of bonus videos, vlogs, downloadable tabs, and so much more. Well, hey there, kids. It's your good buddy, video editor Uncle Ben, here in the future, chur, 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 editing down the video that you're watching now. Wait, I guess that would technically make me in the past, but I'm in the future for this point in the video. Anyway, this week everybody who supports my Patreon page, even for just a buck a month, is gonna get access to a super deluxe, fully loaded, mega long and strong version of this video. It's over 40 minutes long. It's got way more insight into the tunes and the review process and all that good stuff. There's all kinds of good stuff in there that didn't quite make it into the cut of the video that you're watching now. So if you want the entire mega sized edition of this video, be sure to support that Patreon page. Even for just a buck a month, it can be yours. So I'll be totally real with you guys. This gig kind of snuck up on me because I agreed to do it a while back. Like I think in December, if I'm not not mistaken. We had the holidays, all the usual first of the year craziness, and I was going through our calendar the other day and I saw a little marker that's like, oh yeah, you have a Smooth Sailor show coming up in like a week. So I have a lot of material to review. It's like a three hour show. So there's a lot of songs in there and they are not easy. Thankfully, the majority of the set list is tunes that I've played with them in the past. And they're all songs that I really like and listen to all the time anyway, so it's not like I'm really having to hardcore refresh on these. But I figured I'd take you guys along for the journey to show you guys how I'm going to get ready for this thing in such a short time span. And of course, one of the most important parts of this entire process is making the most of your time, considering I don't have very much. So while me and Turkey here are waiting in the car for his sister Zora to get out of a vet appointment, we're just gonna go ahead and make a playlist of all the tunes that I need to learn. So that's over 40 songs and I don't really have a lot of time to review them. So I'm going to sit here with the Spotify playlist and my beautiful Sir Modern T and go through some of the trouble spots in the songs. The last time I played with the band was I think last fall. So I'm still kind of fresh on the songs. Taking it to the streets by the Doobie Brothers. Love this song. Okay, so I usually play the guitar part like it is on the record, which is just to say a lot of It's really nothing. It's just like octaves through most of the song. But you can actually play those piano chords at the top. Um, like that, yeah, I love that. So weird, man. She's Gone by Hall & Oates. Okay, now this song right here prominently uses the 70s chord, and I want you guys to like take a shot every time I say 70s chord in this video. Don't, you will die. It's this chord right here. Root, flat seven, ninth, and 11th. This is so prominently featured in this 70s soft rock stuff, it's everywhere. But if you wanna hear it on full display, this is a good one for that. 
So it's like a B with an A triad, then a B with a B triad on top. Really cool stuff. More Than a Woman by the Bee Gees. I love the Bee Gees, I love this song. And again, this one right out of the gate here, it hits you with your C major seven, and B11, or your A triad under a B bass note, whatever you wanna call it. The 70s chord, once again. Lido Shuffle Boss Gags, another tune where you get to use some dirt. It's like a D sus to D major, F sus to F major, and that random G note at the end. That's a fun one to play. Copacabana, this is one of the hardest songs in the set because there are so many freaking chords that go by in this song, man. Something like that, that's got a lot of weird changes in that one. That's one I'll definitely come back to and view a little bit more. Come Sail Away by Styx, of course you gotta play this tune, right? How do you usually do that? It's like uh Something like that right there. Hey 19, Steely Dan, one of my absolute favorites. So again, if I'm playing this song by myself, I play it like this. So that's a lot going on, especially when the keyboards and stuff are doing all those chords too. So I play more like what the guitar does on the album, on the lead side of things. It do some little. I haven't yet decided what guitars I'm gonna bring to the gig. I usually bring two. Sometimes I play that green telly that I was using earlier because you can't lose with a telly, right? Last gig I played with them, I played this beautiful PRS hollow body here the entire night. It's just a really great tone. It kind of keeps the distorted stuff from getting like too aggressive sounding because it's hollow. Plays great, looks great, and it really sings for those clean parts. This is a really cool guitar, I might take this one. Or I could always completely split the difference and play this lovely Sir Alt T, which is a Telecaster, but it's also semi hollow. So I kind of get the best of everything with this guy. Plus it's got like a five way uh, pickup selector here so I can get those good like single coil tones for some of the more stratty stuff. This guitar is pretty hard to beat. Once again with the multitasking, getting my exercise bike on while also scrolling through YouTube, trying to find some tutorials on how to play FM by Steely Dan. It's one that I've never learned before so might as well help myself along if I can, right? And stay fit. Ahoy there, land lovers. It is, um, let's see, T minus two days until showtime. Still going over a handful of these tunes. I realized that on the set list I overlooked the encores. <laughs> By the way, they're like resurfacing a parking lot out here, so if you hear like crazy screaming demon bat screech noises, it's, there we go, on cue, <laughs> right there. A joyful sound, but. We work with what we have here, right? So I just went over Doctor My Eyes. It's easy for me to remember this because that's the same changes at the start of Rubber Band Man. I think that was on like the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 soundtrack. Pretty much all these songs are on the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack, so you've heard most of these. Okay, Africa by Toto. Through the verses, I'll play something like this that catches some of those cool chords that the keyboards are doing. stuff. It's Toto. Of course it's awesome. All right, Ride Like the Wind by Christopher Cross. I put up a video on Instagram a long time ago of like a really crazy guitar arrangement of that with kind of all the keyboard parts in it. It was that kind of thing, but that's way too busy because the keyboards and stuff are going to be playing that. During the, uh, the kind of break in there, there's that really rad... I 
love how that sounds. Now let's talk a little bit of tone for this gig. Usually for Smooth Sailor, I bring my Rev D20, which is an awesome 20 watt tube head. That's just a good little pedal pusher kind of platform. It's just a good, strong, clean sound. And I use a Rev 1x12 for that too. And of course, I'll need some effects and everything on my board to get these tones right. Start off here with this Wampler gearbox, which is the signature drive pedal of my main man, Andy Wood. The cool thing about this is, is that one side of the pedal is essentially like a Klon style boost. So I can use this to really fatten up clean tones and make them punch or get just like a little bit of breakup on top of a clean tone. And then also here with the second channel, it's kind of sort of like the Wampler Pinnacle overdrive. So you can get a nice saturated searing lead sound out of it. We'll run them both at the same time. And the cool thing is it's also got a built-in noise gate. So I don't have to pack one of those either for those high gain tones. Especially if I'm using like the single coils and kicking on the high gain stuff for like one of those Steve Lukather solos. That gate's a lifesaver. You guys know that I'm addicted to the sauce. I rarely ever play a show without some delay or reverb. A lot of these songs have that psychedelic phased out clean tone on them, so I'm gonna be bringing this MXR Phase 95. I've got this exotic SP compressor here, especially if I'm using single coils. It's always nice just to have a little extra squeeze on there. If I've still got room on my board, I'm gonna put this MXR micro flanger on there. A TC Polytune too, because Guitars tend to sound better whenever they're in tune. And for all that funky stuff like in the uh, Bee Gees tunes, I got to have me a wah pedal on deck. I used the uh, Dunlop Crybaby 535Q. Great little pedal, very versatile. Twas the night before the gig and all through the living room, Uncle Ben had drug his show rig into the place and decided to practice while his Lovely wife reads a book. I think I'm gonna play this beautiful Ernie Ball Luke 3 at the show tomorrow. I got this guitar in December. I actually haven't gigged it yet and I'm just dying to. It does the split coil sound really well so I don't really need to bring a single coil guitar. I'm here with drummer extraordinaire. Who's this? Ricardo Montalban. Otherwise known as Andy Campbell, who plays drums with me, and Andy Wood Trio, and Kennedy Wood Band, and Skate Banger, and Boogie Nights, and this band. That, well, keep going. We have a lot of projects together. Yeah, so many. He's good at drums and yeah, singing sure. and stuff. It's a day's work. Setting up for a big time yacht show. Introduce yourself, fellas. Hey, I'm Dave. I'm Jason. What's up? Woo! Let's talk about the smoothest crooner on the stage. Who's this? Oh, we'll, do that. we'll do this again later. We'll do this again later. We'll, we'll try it again. Who's this handsome man on the flat top here? Who's this? I'm Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Let's rock. By my side here, we've got the rockin' realtor himself. Introduce yourself, buddy. My name's Dave Campbell, and he's a rocker. Woo! That's right. Let's talk about the smoothest crooner on the stage. Who we got here? Captain Pat Baker. Captain Pat Baker looking sharp. Woo! Tonight we have a very special guest, Uncle
So there we have it guys, the end of another Yacht Rock Odyssey playing with my friends in Smooth Sailor. Huge thanks to them for asking me to be a part of another awesome show. I love this gig, I hope I get to do it again in the future. And now that I'm on the other side of the gig, I'd like to share with you guys a few afterthoughts, if you will, about the entire experience. I'm gonna do this corporate management um, compliment sandwich style, where I have like good, bad, good. Just a couple takeaways from the entire evening. First things first, this guitar did absolutely spectacularly, and I loved it so much. I played this guitar all night. It's the only one that I played. I kept using those split tones for those stratty sounds, using the onboard boost for a little bit of extra cut during solos and stuff. The neck profile stayed super comfy all night long, and it didn't weigh too heavy on the shoulder. Balanced very nicely. Awesome guitar, I'll definitely be using this again. Next takeaway is that I need to get back to working on my improv again as a regular priority. There's a couple spots in the night where I felt like I was playing pretty dang good, and then there was several, you know, kind of improvised jams in there where I felt like I could have done better, you know? Improvisation is one of those things that's never been like a mega strong suit of mine, but I really enjoy doing it and I want to get better and better at it, so I think I'm gonna make working on improv a regular part of my musical diet again. <laughs> And the last thing I want to mention is how much I loved using this Wampler gearbox all night. This thing is legitimately fantastic. It was my first gig with it and I am completely sassified with my tones. Honestly, I think this is the happiest I've ever been with using a clean tone amp and getting all of my dirt from a pedal. I'm really picky about that, but this guy completely nailed it. Let me know if you guys want to see like a Meet the Machines video all about this guy. I'd love to do one because this thing is seriously legit, but not too legit. It must not quit. Also, if you guys want to see more Monsters of Yacht, be sure to let me know down there in the comments section. These tunes are absolutely so fun to play and feature so much intricate little stuff in there. I'd love to do some breakdowns of these for you guys, so let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to follow Smooth Sailor on the Instagriddles and all other social media. Come out to a show sometime if you're around the Knoxville area. They're seriously fantastic and all wonderful dudes. If you like this video and want to get even more out of it, support that Patreon page over at patreon.com slash Guitars. even for just a buck a month. It's going to get you access to the mega long, 40 plus minute long version of this video. Don't delay, sign up today. Thank you guys so much for liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Be sure to ring the bell down there for notifications every time I upload a new slice of fried gold. Well guys, it's been fun as always, but it's time for me to get away from here and do some work on some improvising. Fun stuff. As for you guys, I recommend getting away from the computer, grabbing that guitar, and getting to work. Less clicking, more picking.